the most awaited GPT-5 is here and it did not disappoint. We analyzed GPT-5 against the latest Grok LLM Grok 4 across these three tests. The first test was to create a realistic landing page. We asked both models to create a landing page for American Backyard Barbecue Club. We gave it a membership price, portfolio of products, and target audience. While Grok just took 10 seconds to provide the output, GPT-5 took 36 seconds, and here's the output. Grok furnished a landing page that was plain and bland with zero CSS, no styles, and all buttons were plain HTML with no redirects to different website sections. GPT-5 produced a professional grade landing page with a premium interface, catchy tagline, pricing section, testimonials, FAQs, and all CTA buttons had a hover animation and redirected me to the right section. The colors perfectly complemented the barbecue business. The second test was to see how well the models handle 3D imagery and motion. We asked both models to create an interactive Coliseum style architecture. Here's the output from Grok 4. Yep, that's it. A plain blue screen with literally nothing inside it and a few parameters on top. And here's the output from GPT-5. This is incredible. Very accurate with the colors, the depth, and the different layers giving it a 3D effect. It also includes custom motion, zooming in, and there's gladiator movement visible. The third test was to see how well both models would work with AI agents. So we built a quick AI voice agent using Plevo CX platform. We signed up for free on cx.plevo.com, simply entered a prompt which built an AI voice agent for us. Here within the models, we selected GPT-5 first and asked a variety of complex questions. We recorded the token usage and the response times for both models from Plevo's interface. Depending upon the queries, the average tokens used and the response times for both GPT-5 and Grok-4 were very close in terms of general performance. While GPT-5's responses were quicker, the overall quality of responses were not at par with that of Grok-4. Grok-4 had more structured output and elaborate reasoning even for simple queries. So overall, it's no doubt that GPT-5 is the clear winner when it comes to creating usable outputs with much less reprompting needed. So what are your thoughts on OpenAI's latest LLM model?